We live on Vancouver Island and do most of our creations there. And uh, it was a surprise to hear Toronto <laughs> calling to uh, get us out here to do, uh, do a sculpture. Toronto was calling because of this. Tons of driftwood washed up on the waterfront following destructive flooding this spring. I remember last time I was out here with you walking around and seeing all the driftwood on the beach and what a difference it is today. Yep, it's been cleaned up significantly. And we talked about a sculpture that day. We did, yeah, and I think you showed a picture of one um, uh, to my boss, Moran, um, and that was part of the inspiration for this. So from that driftwood comes the maple leaf. It's beautiful. It's meant to be here. Gorgeous. Before you couldn't walk on the beach, it was so bad because uh, there was, it's full of sticks from the, from the lake. It was, and huge, huge logs. Of course, this is only a small amount of debris that covered the beaches all along the GTA after the flooding. But now the beach looks like this. It looks probably one of the best beaches in Toronto right now. City crews have spent weeks removing all of the debris from the Toronto waterfront getting everything ready for the Canada Day long weekend. And instead of just having it all hauled off to an off-site disposal facility, TRCA thought it would be a good idea to team up with a Canadian artist uh, to create a piece of art out of the, out of the material left behind. Uh, main things are connected uh, with screws and bolts, uh, deck screws and lag bolts. And, um, and then it's all interwoven, interconnected with back struts and then all of these, which are incredibly resilient bendable wood. I guess. So you like the Toronto driftwood? Not as much as the BC Coast driftwood. <laughs> you won't be moving here anytime soon no. for our driftwood? No, not at all. Well, the sculpture should be finished tomorrow in time for beachgoers to enjoy it this long weekend. They do hope to have the fence removed, but that has not been decided yet. At Bluffers Beach, Audra Brown, City News.